It's high noon. The Siege of Gondor. After a harrowing journey under the, du the Dormerberg, Arag Aragorn and his companions emerged on the southern end of the haunted mountain and rode towards the Stone of Eric. There the heir of Isildur summoned the dead men of Dunharo to fulfill their oaths and follow him to Pelagir where the fleet of Umbar drew nigh. To the astonishment of his companions, the army of the dead obeyed Aragorn and heeded his commands, but it was still a hard ride to reach Pelagir in time. The hardship his companions endured was beyond the strength of most mortals, but need drove them and the will of Aragorn held them together. In five days' time, they raced more than ninety leagues to reach the port of Pelagir. At the fort of Gilrain, they came upon the men of Lambdin as they fought with the Corsair raiders who had sailed up the river. Friend and foe alike fled at their, com at the at their coming for the fear of the dead. But when they reached the Pelagir, the Corsairs turned to give battle. There, upon the Anduin, the main strength of the Umbar fleet was gathered for the sack of Gondor. A great army of corsairs stood before them, and the Grey Company was already tired from the long journey, but Aragorn ordered the army of the dead to attack and led his companions into battle once more. Alright. There's our intro for the Siege of Gondor. We're running our uh, Gondor army deck that we ran to help Frodo get past the Black Gate in the journey of the crossroads. A few weeks back, we're running a uh, slightly altered version of that, obviously removing Frodo and the handful of cards that were helping him. But uh, I ended up throwing a little bit more healing in this deck with the Warden of Healing, because uh, Irith is just not going to be able to do enough, because there's just so much archery damage and, and just inherent damage coming from the uh, Corsair fleet. Uh, that's... Uh, Every single turn, you're going to end up with uh, a ton of damage, or you're drawing extra encounter cards, which is, in my experience, always a terrible and negative thing, and we just don't want to do that. So, added those in there, um, took out Sam, and uh, that's really about it. Added Andrew and Glamdring. Uh, Searching Eye is not going to be in the deck for this one, but otherwise, I mean, that's the deck we're going to run with. If I see the if I see the, the bulk of the right pieces, we're gonna be in great shape. If we don't, we're gonna be in trouble. But uh hopefully. Hopefully it'll all will go right. Okay, so here we go. So we don't have Frodo in the Siege, Siege of Gondor. We do have Poison Councils. That's gonna uh, end up there. Again, being represented by Grima in my deck because the card back is not the same. Um we do get the uh, Leaf Wrap Lembas. I will attach that to Aragorn. And the Aragorn that we're using today is the Flame of the West Aragorn. The uh, While he has an artifact attached, he gains Sentinel and does not exhaust a quest. Running the Spirit version of Baragon. So I can kind of keep my threat somewhat under control and have a solid defender. Baravor is going to give us the card draw that we need. And... Boromir, who is still alive in my campaign, is going to help lead the uh, allies of Gondor against the Corsairs. And we do get the Army of the Dead, because we, uh, last game, we ended up being successful in defeating them. And because of that, we get to add them to our, our deck. And they, uh, they, we take control of them right out of the box, so they're, they're a setup character, so they're on the board for us. We do get some uh, burdens that we carry with us. We still have the Overcome by Grief, the Ill Fate, and the Shadow of Fear, which I still to this day regret taking that card because it is a absolute bastard. And we do have the Corsair Fleet has a forced uh, reaction at the beginning of the staging step. Place one resource here or on this objective. Then each player must choose to either reveal an encounter card or assign X damage among characters you controls or X. This is the number of resources here. So the longer this takes, the worse this gets. We have the Great Corsair ship also in the staging area. He has as much threat as there are resources on the Corsair fleet. Uh, we 
cannot travel here unless there are three, at least three, ship locations in the victory display. That's going to be the catch to this one, because if they just don't show up, we're just screwed. Uh, each player could, uh, has a travel effect that each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for Corsair enemy, adds it to the staging area, and then one of those enemies has to be the Corsair captain, and he's a dick. We don't like him. All right, so let's do some setup here. Got the uh, Lord of the Rings Part 14, the Siege of Gondor. It says, there is a great fleet drawing near the mouths of the Anduin, manned by Corsairs of Umbar in the south. They have long ceased to fear the might of Gondor, and they have allied with, with them. They have allied them with the enemy, and now make a heavy, str a heavy stroke in his cause. So our setup is: the first player can raise each player set by one to search his deck for Andril and add it to his hand. We remove each burden with the following burden icons, so we don't get any of like the Black Riders uh, stuff or any of that. Those are not here. We also don't get any of the any of the burdens that Frodo gained from Shilob's labor layer or the 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 marshes. So let's go ahead and raise my threat by one. I'm going to do that because I believe that Andrew Will is the only artifact in my entire deck. So we kind of need to get that and put it on Aragorn as uh, Glamdring is the other artifact. Oh, he yeah, would have drawn me would have been the first card I drew. Anyways, we'll do it anyway. So we put it into our hand. We'll shuffle that. All right. Attack on Pelagrier. There at Pelagrier lay the main fleet of Umbar, 50 great ships and smaller vessels beyond count. Many of those that were that were pursued had reached the, ha the havens before us. Uh, add the Corsair fleet. Corsair side face up. And the great Corsair ship to the staging area. Each player searches the encounter deck for ship location and adds it to the staging area. Then shuffle the encounter deck. Alright, so there's the Corsair fleet. There is the great Corsair ship. Let's go ahead and pull our ship out of the encounter deck. I know which one we're going to go with. There's only a couple. And the one we're going to go with is the uh, Corsair Droman, because it gives us the easiest pathway to getting that done. All right, so close and shuffle that. And we are ready to rock, I believe. Let's flip our quest card. Oops, don't put a progress on it. But the Herodrim, being now driven to the brink, turned at bay, and they were fierce in despair, and they laughed when they looked, up, looked on us, for there was a great army still. Each ship location in the staging area is immune to player card effects, so I can't, I can't cheat it out. Players cannot defeat the stage while the great Corsair ship is in play. When the stage is defeated, the players win. All right, so we need to get 20 progress here, and the great Corsair ship needs to get the F out. All right, here we go. I'll shuffle my, our pal Grima into my deck. Hopefully he doesn't show up early. Otherwise, it's going to be... If he shows up super early, that's almost a, that's almost a, an L if he shows up super early. All right, so here is our first turn. Let's generate some resources. One, one, and one. Draw our first card. We get a veteran of Osgiliath. Perfect. All right, so here we go. Right of the box here, I'm going to use a resource here and a resource here to play the Envoy of Pelagrir. The Envoy is going to give her resource. Envoy says uh, once she enters play, add a resource to a Gondor Noble Hero's resource pool. That Noble Hero and Gondor Hero will be uh, Boromir, and he will immediately tap the resources of his old man and become gain the, the resources for Steward of Gondor. I will exhaust Steward to generate those two resources back. So I paid two, generated two. And then I am going to spend those two resources on the Armored Destroyer. Put the Armored Destroyer onto Baragond. So he's already 
starting to get souped up a little bit because we are going to put an enemy into play right out of the box with the Corsair Drum on. All right. I think that's all we're going to do this turn. So we don't get the boost to damage from Boromir this, this turn. But since we have Steward out so early, we're going to be in good shape. I'm not going to draw cards for Berevor right now. I don't need to. So we're going to commit to our quest. We're facing, there'll be one, two, three. So we're facing, we're going to be facing three. I'm going to just take the one point of damage here. So we'll commit to the quest. He uh, does not have an artifact, so he's two, four, five. Mm. I don't care if I kill a guy in the first turn, I don't think. Uh, nine. So we'll quest for nine, try to get some cheap uh, some cheap progress here. All right, so I am going to just take a damage for the Corsair fleet. It says I could place one resource here, and then each player must choose to either reveal an encounter card or assign X damage. X is the amount of resources here. I will just assign X damage. That'll go on the Army of the Dead. All right. We're questing for nine against three. Here comes the encounter card. Boom! We get the Umbar War Galley. So it's a, that's a good thing for us because that is the second ship location. And that will give them three. One, two, three. We win by three. So we'll go one, two, three. And then I will... I'm going to travel to the Umbar War Galley. Let's get that out of there. So he's active. So while it's active, the Corsair enemies get minus 10 engagement costs. That sucks. We have to shuffle the encounter discard pile in the encounter deck and discard cards from the top until a Corsair enemy is discarded and add him to the staging area. There we go. There are no cards in the discard pile, so we'll just discard until we find a bad guy. There's a bad guy. Of course, he's a big, beefy bad guy. Ooh, Moly, that's a bad... That, he's a bad dude. I don't, I don't like him. Okay. And he's minus 10, so he's going to come on down, which is fine. We can, we can deal with him. Um, he does have a forced effect. When he engages us, we exhaust a character we control. That hurts because I can't do damage to him this turn. And he's a dick, so... All right, so here we go. Uh, I'll just optionally engage him. Screw it, he's coming anyway. So here he comes. He's going to get a shadow card. Add a shadow. Baragon is absolutely going to defend that. He's going to take a little bit of damage. Um, so here he comes in, hitting for six. Six. So we'll take two. Uh, uh. I will use the armor death dryer already. I think I might be able to do a point of damage or two. Oh, and when he attacks... Uh, when he engages us, we exhaust a character we control. So, uh, we'll discard that. He's ready, but he can't do anything. He does one point. No, nothing. So, that's the end of our turn. So, we will be ready for the next round. And everybody stand. All right. And Steward will, will give us a couple of extra resources. Faramir's a nice pull there. Let's see. So we'll have two, four. I'm going to gamble. I'm going to draw for Bear Boar this time. Okay. Spend two here. And I'll put the ship captain out. I can move a resource from one here to another. It's not going to matter because my next play is going to put Andrew all out. So we're going to spend one, two, three to put Andrew out, and that'll be attached to Aragorn so he doesn't exhaust a quest. That gives him plus one, plus one, plus one. And that's it for our turn. We do get the uh, attack bonus out of Boromir. 
which is good. All right, let's commit to our quest. They are going for three, four, five. We're facing, what did I say? It's going to be two, four. So we'd only be up by one. So five. Uh, I'll give it, I'll go up to nine. Okay. Oh, I have to do, if he gets that, I'll put the two damage on the army. So we don't draw another encounter card. And boom, we get another enemy, which is fine. So they get two more. We win by three. I think that's enough to clear the ship over there. It is. So one, two, three goes to the victory display see ya here's where it starts getting a little a little froggy though um yeah i don't like i don't like that archery damage it gives me but there's not a whole lot i can do all right so we do the same thing as the other time we uh put we shuffle the encounter deck and then go surfing for a mm -hmm. we go surfing for a uh, Corsair enemy. There's a Corsair enemy right there. Boom. All right. So we've traveled. I'm going to optionally engage one of these jackasses because Baragon can take. He can take two attacks, though. If I don't find one of my healers soon, that is going to be a problem. So when he engages us, we deal one damage to a character. Two, if there's a ship location active, there is a ship location active. We'll do one here and one here. And deal shadow. All right, I'll defend this guy's first. So here is shadow. He gets one. If it damages a character, that character cannot ready. It does not damage me. So discard that. And then the Armored Destrier will ready me, and I will discard that. I can't actually defend that. Fuck. Hold on, I can't do that. Uh, fuck that. If it just means I can't defend it with Baragon, because he's gonna die because i can't i have to heal him first so we will fuck that sucks these guys hit so hard um yeah i'll have to defend there and take freaking four Ugh. these guys man they're just so freaking brutal then we'll fight back i'll fight back for four five Five. That would do two. Yeah, I need to do eight next turn to kill his ass. Alright. I don't like it, but what else am I going to do? Otherwise, i got to come up with ten. Which I... Mm, I'd probably do it, but well, not, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay. So that's poor. I really, really need my healers. Like as soon as freaking possible. So Bearvor is going to have to go f fish them out for me. The steward. Oh, the visionary is nice. Uh, Bearvor, let's go find it. Or draw me Grima and lose me the game right now. No? Okay, there's a healer. That's a big deal. Except for I can't pay for him. Going to have to survive one more turn. Time to start chump blocking. And I'll spend two. One, two. For visionary. So it's back. 
Visionary gives plus one willpower to all Gondor characters. Not her. She's not a Gondor character. Okay. Things are not looking good right now. really just aren't looking very good right now. I don't need that extra hitting power out of the sword though. Two. We'll put Glamdring on Boromir. Gives him plus two attack. I mean, he hits for five between Aragorn and Boromir. We're hitting for... We're hitting for nine, which is enough to kill almost everybody but these asshats. They, they just hit like an absolute ton of bricks. I'm pretty much going to have to make the assumption we're going to fail the quest this time around. There's no penalty for that this time, this in this quest, so other than raising my threat, which is fine. Um, Alright, I think that's all I can do this turn. Let's go ahead and commit to our quest. Three. We've got to be facing three, four, five. My only quest for Theragorn. Three. And these guys? Will I have enough? Yeah, I think I will. So three, seven. And we've got this coming. Resource here. Better do some damage. One, two, three. I need my healers really, really badly. This guy's going to come in handy, but he he slow heals. But it's better than nothing. Okay, so we've got a uh, eight versus three, five. With one to card. Black sails. It's a doomed one, so that just happens. Each ship location in the stage area is plus one threat until the end of the phase. That's good. Yeah, the uh, the treacheries in this one aren't terrible. And there is a non-unique ship location in the staging area, so they just get plus one, so we actually win by two. That's going to clear that location, which is shocking. One, two. We've actually got two of the three done. Shockingly enough, two of the three are are done, so that's a big deal. Though we are at 35, you know what, I should have lowered my threat. It doesn't matter, these going to come anyway, so here they come. Alright, All right, there's nowhere to travel, so we're fighting. We're going to get some uh, overcome by your grief coming in hot. Alright, so this guy comes in here. I think I forgot to take an extra archery damage to the last turn. Which really just puts us in a total shit fit. I'll just do it there. I'll just do it like all of my guys are damn dead. And put him over here. Literally like all of our dudes are dead. He's just like lagging on me today. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so we're going to get some shadow card action. We're going to have some chump blocking going on over here. Alright, Envoy. You're going to go ahead and defend this guy. So he's hitting you for six. Cool, we lost a character at control. Uh, 
So she dies a dirty death. Discard that. A bit overcome by grief. We'll put it on. Uh, we'll put it on the thematic guy. We'll put it on Boromir. So that goes. All right, this guy will attack Aragon. He defends for four. He attacks for three. Four still bounces. Which will allow me to lower my threat, which it will do. I will exhaust armor destrier. Ready myself and discard this guy's shadow card, which does nothing anyway. And then he exhausts to defend that, and it bounces that. Discard those. And then these two guys attack for five, nine. We'll kill that asshole. Nine, seven damage through. See ya. All right. That could have been worse. We're still really, really messed up. We'll get a little bit of help here. I'd love to find Irith. She would do much better for us. But we did not find her. And before I discard my hand, I will play pay two from Barivor. To put the Warden O Healing on board. And he comes out and he's got he's visionary and damage. We'll generate two resources there. One. Put one here and one here. Play the envoy. She comes in and gives one resource to Boromir, because Boromir is going to call his brother and invite his brother to the party. Four. There we go. So now we've got the envoy out there. He's also got plus one, plus one, because I still have. I see no reason to draw additional cards right now. I'm not, I mean, I'm hunting for a couple of things, but I just need some, t I need healers. That's what I need. I need healers. I need them badly. All right, we will heal one damage on two different characters. We'll heal one off of Boromir. And... I'm already at the stage where I may have to start taking extra encounter cards because my healing did not show up fast enough. One here and one here. Okay, let's commit to our quest. Three from Aragorn. Five. Six, seven. Ooh, she gets the one I want as well because she's a Gondor. Six, seven, eight, nine. Thirteen. Actually, this time I think I'm going to leave them up. Five, nine. Nine, and I can exhaust Faramir to give me a couple more if I need it. Against four. All right, so here's this. He gets that one. Can I take four damage? One, two, three, four. I'll just take the damage still this time. One, two, three, four. One card coming. It is the Corsair of Umbar. And puts them at four, five, six. So we win by three. Two, three. He's going to come down. There's nothing I can do about that. Ugh. And he's not beefy, though. He's kind of a bitch, which is fine. There. There. And there. All right. 
Should be able to actually deal with some of these guys. Just, yeah, Faramir's still up. Okay. We can deal with some of these guys. Alright, I'll have Baragon defend this guy. So he hits for three. Three. And I will discard this shadow card with the armor destrator. Neither one of them were anything. And then I will defend this guy's. I will defend this guy's attack here. Who's going to defend the last one? Shit. So we bounce that, so I lower my threat. I mess that up. Um, can't just take the two damage. All my dudes are on the brink of death. Hmm. If there's a shadow card that boosts his damage, we'll do it with Faramir. We'll see. If it boosts his damage, he dies. Nothing. Good. Bounces. Alright, so we discard that. Let's kill some guys. We definitely can kill at least two of these dudes. Alright, so the army of dead is just going to outright kill one of them. See you. Discard that guy. These guys take six. Of course they do. So Aragorn and Boromir will just jump on one of them and smush them. Kill that guy. All right, so we're okay so far. We're beat all the hell, but we're okay right now. We're at the stage where I'm probably, this next turn, I don't think I'm going to have much of a choice but to uh, take the extra damage. I don't think they are to take the extra encounter card. We will steward. One, two, three, four. So he costs one. So he costs one, I'll put him out for one. Heal some damage. Do one here. One here. We're going to be facing five. Two, four, six, nine. I'll go ahead and we're going to gamble. One, two, three. I don't really want to. S you know what? Screw it. We'll pay the two and doom one myself. And I'll put this guy into play. And he'll bring his brother into play as well. The, having the extra willpower and fighting ability is going to be what carries us. If I have to kill him, I'll kill him. That'll cripple Boromir, but it's okay. Okay. I think that's all we can do for this turn. So let's uh, let's commit to our quest here. Three. Five, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Mason eleven. 
needs to get my resource. You know what? I'm going to go uh, two more. 12, 13. Because I'm going to draw the extra card this time because I don't have a choice. F. Okay. Another encounter card for the turn. Uh, raiding the coasts. Either add three to the total threat or discard the highest cost attachment. Well, we're not discarding an attachment. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if we had three, we would be at an 11. I think we can live with, with an 11. So three, six, and five is 11. We win by two. Two. We'll discard that. I think I'm going to leave him up there because I can. And because he's a dick and I don't want to deal with him right now. I need my, I need my, uh, I need my healers, man. They're killing me right now. If I bring them down, I don't have to exhaust a character I control, which would be Faramir. I defend. I would boost here with Desperate Defense to give me a six. I would actually defend this guy first, and then discard that. All right, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'll bring him. Let's go. All right, so we'll bring him down. Paramir gets exhausted. We get some shadow cards. One, two. All right. Baragond will defend this guy. He hits for two. Three. Still bounces. Discard that. I'm a Destrier. We'll ready him. I will discard his card. So nothing. And then I will pay one resource. So I'm declared as a defender against that guy's attack to be desperately in defense, which will increase my defense by two, making me a six. And if it deals no damage, I can ready my defending character. It will deal no damage because I will bounce it, lowering my threat, and I will ready my character. Now we can fight back and kill those guys. All right, so the army of the dead will hit for six, and Aragorn hits for four, so that's ten. That's dead. Bormir attacks for five. Dead. All right, that was a good turn. So far, we're okay. I just need to not die. I've got so much damage on me. It's not even funny. Steward. Heal. Heal one here. And one here. I will use a resource to play to heed the dream, because I can use the kicker with bear with a Boromir. Fine. Looking for Iris. Ooh, hoo -hoo, look at you, Grima. You're two cards away, you dick. Looking for. Man, I hate to heed the dream and to heed the dream, but I think I'm gonna. Yep, we'll heed the dream into heed the dream. And then I will spend the three off of Boromir. One, two, three. And we will go look for any card. That's tough because I would have loved to seen like the Gondorian shield. That would have been nice. Iris, she's the top card of the deck. Damn it. I 
I hate to do it that way, but I'm so beat up. I'm going to take it, put it, make it higher. Right? So basically it means I pay three for her four if I to use her healing. I will put her into play though. It's a one and a one. And I will spend the one resource I do have and exhaust her to heal. And I will heal Boromir with all the way. So now I think I can actually take six damage. Okay. I don't think there's anything else we're going to do this turn. Uh, favor of Var. You know what, I'll put it out because Grim is going to come take it, so I may as well put it out. So I'll play the three neutrals. I'll put the favor of the Var out just in case something really crazy happens. I'll be able to deal with it. Now I'll go ahead and draw the two cards for her. One, two, okay. I will spend the two here and make her unexpectedly courageous. Now she can help in both ways. And exhaust it right away to ready her. Okay, so we're facing six. We've got the whole, the board's clear, we're ready. I just need to finish the job. So we do have to commit to the quest here and then we'll stage it. So two, four, six, eight, 11, 13. 13, they get one. Six damage. One, two, three, four. Yep, we'll just take the damage this time. Two, three, four. Five, six. All right. So no extra encounter card. We're questing for 13 against six. There's a dick. There he is. We don't like him. All right. So he's a three. So they are at a nine versus our 13. So we went by four. One, two, three, four. Still searching for the third ship, too. All right. Funny part is we do, he can't be optionally engaged and there's nothing. So he just sits. There's nothing I can do. That sucks. That just makes him an extra pain in the ass. I think I took my hail of stones out of this deck too. Hmm. Okay. Well, shit, that's a quick end of the turn. There's no, no fighting because he is not coming because there's no ship in the active location. Poop. All right, that's the end of the turn. Off we go. That's one way to offset Baragon bouncing attacks. Steward. Anything I need to play before I discard my hand. That's the key. No. So we will play Dayron's runes to draw one, two, discard steward, heal, before I get, I couldn't have put eight, I couldn't do that, I can't do eight here, I'll put the extra one there, I miscounted that, so we'll heal, I'll heal one, Two, then I will. Ooh, I can probably ride it out a turn on Iris to heed some dreams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
Let's heat some greens. Oh, he's the next card draw. Holy shit, that would have been terrible. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't like any of those. I guess I'll take the card draw as the uh, the discard, and then I will pay three for the kicker. One, two, three, and we'll go search for any card, and that is going to be a song of battle because I can get the shield on Baragond and feel a whole lot better about my ability to defend. Now we will close and shuffle. Now I'm at the stage where I don't need to draw a whole bunch more cards because I think I'm going to have everything I need. So, Aragorn, pay one. He will get the Song of Battle. Because he uses, he uses his resources a whole heap load less than everybody else. Actually, hold. Can't do it that way and still play, play his shield this turn. We'll put it on... Baragon so that he can buy his own shield. There we go. Now I feel good. There we go. And that boosts his defense up by two. Now we feel pretty good. I know I'm not even aiming to draw any other cards. I still have one if I need to stop a awful treachery. We're facing 10 this turn, probably 11 or more than that, because we're going to, we're going to end up drawing a, in a counter card. Okay. So here we go. Let's commit to our quest two, four, six, eight, 10, 13. 17. 17. It's going to be 10 plus 2 encounter cards because I'm not taking the damage this time. Counter card. Flip it. Holy shit. Oh man. Okay. And the other encounter card. Charger Pirate. Alright, so they're 13, 14, 15. We win by two. It's getting us closer up there. Still can't optionally engage these guys. We can't optionally engage him though, so he's going to come on down. When he does, he does two, one damage, just one. We'll take that one damage on Aragorn. He does get a shadow. Aragorn will defend that. Gets for three plus, uh, it does not damage character. So nothing bounces. Not going to lower my threat. I'm going to leave it right where it is. Yeah, we're going to leave it right where it is. We'll use the Armored Death Rider to ready him, though, just for the crap of it. And Aragorn and Boromir will knife him in the head and kill him. And he goes dead. And he becomes dead. I should be using Faramir. I forget to do it. Ready. Should want to get my threat to around forty. Ready. Two. We will heal. We'll get one off Aragorn and one off Baragorn. And I will pay for Iris. And she will take care of Boromir. Boromir will pay two for the soldier. 
put him out. The soldier says, I can look at the top five cards in my deck for Gondor Alley and add it to my hand. Look at the top five. I'll go ahead and take this guy. Because he will allow me to put two guys into play. Next turn, I'm not going to do it this turn. Right, I'm not drawing any other cards. The reason why I would do it this turn is four. The only reason why I would I should take the other guy. That's right. The only reason why I <laughs> wasn't going to do it is well. There's a couple of reasons why now. <laughs> I mistakenly thought that I had another two-cost guy in my hand, and I don't. He's a three-cost. That's all right. Okay, so we're going to end up with eight. So, again, we're probably looking at just flipping another encounter card. He does get the one and one though. So let's commit our quest here. Two, four, six, eight, ten... 13, 15, 15. Nineteen. So nineteen. We're facing it's gonna be eight. We're facing fourteen plus two cards. So here's the first one. There's our ship. And second card is a treachery. Black sails. Doomed one. Doomed one is fine. When revealed each ship location in the city area gets plus one threat until the end of the phase. If there are no non-unique ship locations, that's fine. So each ship location gets plus one, so they go up by two. So they go up by four total. Two, three, four. We still win the quest by one. I will exhaust Faramir to give me a plus. So I'm up by one, two, three, four, five, six. We win by six. That gets us to our 20. <clears throat> now we have to figure out how to deal with these guys. So they're going to come down and they're going to attack twice. That'll take Baragon's two defenses. I can defend once with Boromir and not die. I also have a chump blocker here, which would force Boromir to not be able to be ready for the next round too. Which is a bitch. I could use the one boss, and there's a distinct possibility that I might. I could also defend it with Aragorn. He defends for three. I'll probably do that. So, two attacks, one attack here, one attack here, and then there's going to be another guy. She could take it, I suppose. Is this going to be like a absolute just? I can I can do that too. All right, we can take it. I think. All right, so we're going to travel. We're going to the Corsair Dromon. He also had some archery, which we don't like. That's all right. And we have to shuffle all the encounter deck into the shuffle it in. And if I draw the six, the six. Uh, the pirates were just screwed. Whoo, look at that, the first guy. That's a good one. He's not bad. Other than it's going to be archery three, so one, two, three, four. I have to take four damage. That's not going to be healthy for us. All right, so we are definitely at the threat threshold, so they're going to come. They're at minus 30, so they're coming anyway, so here they come. Yeah, yeah. 
and they're going to make attacks as soon as they come down here and then they're going to attack again which is a real problem so they are each going to get shadows before we do any other bullcrap okay so they come in and hit for six and we'll absolutely defend with uh baragon they attack for five excuse me five plus a shadow shadow is nothing so the destrier will make his other shadow go away which is good because that would have been a heavier so then i will before i do that I will spend the one for my desperate defense. So when I defend it and bounce the attack, it will ready me so that I can defend another one of their freaking attacks because they're coming at me again. Don't, don't go in there. I didn't mean to put them in there. Discard those. All right, now we get the regular attacks. This is just an insane amount of attacks coming from these guys. So now they're going to come at us again. Should be able to deal with it. I don't think I'll be able to fight back, but I should be able to deal with the attacks. All right, so here he'll defend that again. He hits for five plus six. So it still bounces. Discard that. I'm not going to lower my threat. Uh, this guy I'll defend with Aragorn, so he will exhaust. He hits for five. I defend for three. He does have a shadow. Exhaust character I control. Let's, uh, I'll do Aragorn. And Aragorn will take two damage. And before I go any farther, I need to actually do the archery damage, because I forgot to do that. Uh, it does uh, four total. So one, two, three, four. And then I do get to declare as an attacker, so I will attack back with uh, Andrew. Four against his three doing one point of damage. And... It's going to be point of damage anyway. You know what, I'm just going to let it go. All right, so he does three and then runs away like a bitch. That sucks. We do get to fight back, though, so we'll fight back for five, seven. Doing four. All right. That's all we got. Nobody died. None of that. ready we crush the next quest we win the game so we've got it we got it we got it i don't even have to fight these guys this next time because we'll win the game with we just we just quest hard we win steward two there we go we'll spend two one two two to doom two And I'll put another herald out. And that herald will call out our friend, the soldier. And the soldier will let us go look at the top five cards. And the top five cards, any Gondor allies, I can put them in my hand, all of them. Grima, you can go away. One, two. And then I will shuffle our pal Grima away. Away with you. <clears throat> Two. 
me and I'll put the Pelgrim ship captain out. So we've got our army of Gon our Gondor army has shown up here and is going to uh, tell these guys to just stuff it. Because we are loaded for bear here. We can let's heal a little bit. Heal one here, heal one here. I will pay her one for Irith and heal Boromir completely. Alright, all I have to do is quest successfully here. And then we can get the ship in. We'll actually get we're not gonna win this turn, but we'll we'll be we'll be on the highway to win in here. Okay, I will have to defend three attacks, which we can do, so that's okay. Alright, so here we are. Uh let's commit to our quest. Two four come on. Six eight. 10, 12, 14, plus 5 from these guys, 19, 19 against 9, 10, 11, and 2 cards, got the port, And then we've got second card, add three. All right, so what does that leave us if we do that? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16. 16 is fine. So we win by three. If we get rid of that, adds that to the victory display. I don't think I can get another ship captain, can I? But I don't really want to have to defend four attacks either. Alright, I need to piece this together because this is potentially pretty freaking ugly. Alright, so if I travel to the ship, I'd have to get the Corsair captain. I think I've got, there's only two in there. I think I've got them both already. So I would have to get another dude though. But I can pick any of them. He's going to come, so I'm going to have four attacks. Um, I'll go ahead and travel here. So I'm going to have four, four attacks. He can, he can defend two. Aragorn can defend one if it's not too tough. He can defend the two big ones. I've got some guys that can defend the other ones if I need to. Even if I lose the army of the dead, it's not going to kill us, I don't think. I got these guys, too. They defend for one. Yeah. She could defend two. All right. Yeah. All right. So we're going to travel. So there are three in the victory display, so we'll make it active. It does say to sh uh, search the encounter deck and discard pile for Corsair enemy. I don't have to shuffle the encounter deck, right? Nope. I don't think there's another captain. God, I hope there isn't at least. Because if there is, we're going to take a little bit of a beating, but I don't think we're going to die. All right. Let's see here. There are no more captains, I don't believe. It's to hell with the pirate crew. Yeah, I don't think there's a captain in the discard pile. There is not, so I have the two captains. Okay, good. So we're going to take this wienery guy, the umbar, the course. Oh, no, no, he's not wienery. He's a thug. He is not wienery at all. He is a, uh, he is a 4-3 with a uh, ship in play so we'll take this guy he'll do a little bit more archery damage which we don't care for but i think we'll be okay all right so here we go and this guy comes as well so we've got four archery damage or four just damage coming so we can do let's see here i can put one here 
So one, two. Three, yeah, three, four. All right, so there we go. We get some shadows. Shadow, shadow. Baragon has to defend those. There's nothing we can do about that. All right, here we go. Defend. Baragon defends this first attack from this jackass. He hits for five. Six, seven, he'll deal point of damage, shit. Armor Destrier. Discard that. Goes away. Bounces that. Where's my thread at? 42. I'll go ahead and lower it by one. Keep it, keep it nice and, nice and neat at 41. All right, now I got these two guys. I got to defend these as well. And they I don't really want them killing anybody. So, uh Aragorn will defend one of them. It's for 3, so it'll bounce if it doesn't do anything. Ugh. All right. So, yet again, that treachery is just awful it's a such a bullshit way to lose so i'm going to put it as a loss we lost this game we lost and we lost for like the second consecutive time to that freaking treachery so that treachery is absolutely abysmal just abysmal all right so we lost that's an l but i am not going to replay this whole game so i'm going to deal him another shadow we lost, if I was a straight loss, like I was just going to get beat, that's fine. But we lost in such a bitch way that I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to, I'm going to put it as an L. So it's an L, but now I'm going to continue my turn. So defend there, ill fate, nothing. So we bounce it. Andrew will exhaust and we will hit him for four, doing two. And then this guy hits for three. Gamble. He runs away like a bitch. He does one. Yeah, that... God, that freaking... <clears throat> that shadow is so bad. Such a huge error to take it, so... Note self. Don't pick that treachery from here on out. It's, it's awful. It's awful. All right, so... Army of the Dead. We'll do six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. And that'll kill him. Four mirror for five, six, seven, doing four, killing him. And I don't have anybody left to fight that other guy. Okay, yeah. We're ready. Envoy, refresh. Word. Two, three, we'll put the veteran out, and we're over 40, so he's roided veteran. One, two, three, he's the roided out veteran. Then two of Aragorns to put the envoy out. I said the army is just going crazy. Oh, and he actually gets a plus, an additional one of those too. She gets one and one. 
And we'll put the uh, resource on Barivor. Actually, she cannot give it to Barivor because she is not Gondor or Noble. We'll give it to Boromir. It's fine. All right, so let's heal a little bit. We will heal one here and one here. And Iris will pay to heal Baragond just in case some stupid bullshit happens. Okay, so we just have to crush this thing. We just have to crush this quest right here and we win the game. So we're just going to push all the chips in. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-one. 21 with a mountain to come with Faramir. So they are going to get two cards against us. Because I'm not going to take 10 damage. To hell with that. Counter card one is doomed one. That's fine. Uh, each ship location is saying you're going to plus one until the end of the phase. If there are no non-unique ship locations in your area, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a ship location and add it to the staging area and shuffle your encounter deck. Um, that's fine. We can go find a ship location. There's got to be one somewhere. I'm not going. I'm not traveling to it, so I don't care. All I need is this last one. Corsair Dorman. There we go. All right, that's one. Second. Ooh, another treachery. Uh, add three to the total staging area until the end of the quest. That's fine. All right, so let's see what we got here. See what I need to do to finish it. All right, so three, five, six, seven, teen. We're at 17, we're at 21. We need one more, so we will exhaust Faramir to give us plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give us plus 10, 31 to 17. We win by more than five. 31 against 17 so we win by 14 so one two three four five twelve thirteen fourteen and that folks is the winner it's part of why i was so bitter to pull that stupid shadow card man that thing's brutal just brutal unbelievable um all right but we get the win there so that goes to the victory display. Asta, we have successfully defeated the, the Siege of Gondor. Let's flip the card and find out what we get. Resolution, count the number of resources on the Corsair fleet and record that number in the notes section of the quest log. Remove the Army of the Dead from the campaign pool. All right, folks. So we've got, we have a 10. We'll have to remember that. That there's 10, just like the, the two Mumaks that are the Oliphants that got through. And the other in the other uh, quest of Black Gate. So there we go, guys. That's uh that's the finale. We'll be doing the uh, Battle Panel or Fields next. Uh, until then, guys, I appreciate you guys watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. It super helps me so much. And until next time, please take care. Boom goes the dynamite.